second. The arena's been taken over by bad guys. We'll deal with them. Get yourself to safety. Uh, wait a second. Where is the exit? The traveler is correct. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? In which case, I presume you planned for this eventuality, no? Wait, this is all wrong! Isn't this the ultimate trial? Kaltulia's supposed to be the villain! He was just using this tournament for his own agenda and he tricked you into sponsoring him! Hmm, not far off. You're right about Kaltulia's motivations. This started when he discovered a promising use for a forgotten technology. So I bought his loyalty and organized this tournament to expand the reach of his technology. Though I must say, I never expected a prize catch like yourself to take the bait so eagerly. So, you weren't being fooled by Cautilia. It was you using him! Oh, now Paimon's mad! So much for warning you about Cautilia! Oh, look at you! <laughs> I've got chills down my spine. But I'm afraid that's not happening. Twirly Whirly, Lazara, Pyro One! What's going on? Kautilia added a handy little back door in the Wisdom Orbs. As soon as I send the command, all fungi under their control. So, this whole tournament. It was just an elaborate ploy to get other people to capture fungi for you! Very impressive. <laughs> you hit all the key notes there. I hold the tournament a few times, build up an army of fungi living amongst the people, and then I can create all kinds of damage. My accomplishments will eclipse those of my other comrades. And then, my dear Master Dottore, left because of you, will finally realize that I can still be worth something to him. But now, I think I might go one step further. Getting rid of you would be doing a major service for all the Fatui, from the foot soldiers to the harbingers. <laughs> I'll just say it was a, a tragic accident. You placed too much trust in the fungi, tried to push past the limits, and ended up causing the whole arena to collapse. Once this domain sealed off, no one will ever find you. After that, I'll invest even more into this tournament in the name of honoring your memory. You selfish double-crashing monster! Paimons are just about enough from you, mister! You'll never get away with this. But what are we gonna do? You don't have any weapons on you, and our shroom buddies won't respond to us anymore! Take your time! Pit fungi against fungi, and warriors against warriors! I want the Traveler to see his buddy being destroyed! I accept that our actions thus far have not been uh, beyond reproach. But at least we can give the Traveler the ceremonious final farewell. This is a crime. I've activated the backdoor command three times now on the floating hydrofungus. Why is it still obeying the traveler? His Cautilia's device mouth. Oh dear, the poor thing still hasn't realized. The technology in the Wisdom Orb does make fungi more obedient to their beast tamers, but all it does to achieve this is suppress some of their basic instincts, allowing them to communicate with their owner as effectively as any other animal. The trust that these four fungi place in their beast tamers, and the bond they now share, have grown stronger than the Wisdom Orb. Yai, Miko! Y you 
broke the domain ceiling spell? <laughs> Please. You thought your crude replicas could keep me out? You appear to have woefully underestimated who you're dealing with. Not to mention that shoddily designed backdoor command. Did you honestly believe that no one would notice the litany of vulnerabilities in your grand plan? Curses! Miko, Leila, and Hania too! Oh, hang in. So this was all you're doing! Whatever threat the fungi might pose, your nefarious ambition- Come on, Miss Yai. Uh, let's go help them. Easy now, Leila. All that's left for us to do now is to watch and wait. The bond of companionship is not something so easily severed by the designs or devices of humans. Blitzara, you haven't completed your mission yet. You're not thinking of giving up now, are you? Huh? Look! Blitzara's back to normal! Is this the moment Miss Yai said we were waiting for? Twirly Whirly, I believe in you! Take this! The backdoor command is wearing off! They're all returning to normal! Still doubting what your heart tells you, I... You're afraid. Afraid to accept that the fungus you treated as a pawn now trusts you completely. But don't keep your fungus waiting much longer. Look, now that it's no longer under the Wisdom Orb's control, it's waiting for your orders. Pyro One, are you really... I'm sorry. Go. Do what you have to do. Well, one way or another, it looks like all the fungi have returned to their senses! Shame on you, Elhingen! You're about to pay for what you've done! Hold the line! And keep your heads! They're just a handful of fungi! We still have the upper hand! <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't get careless. You can't run. Well, have a load of this. What are you wrong? Don't be a killjoy. It's not so fine. Be like I went to the area. Harden up. We are not going anywhere. Chill to the bone. I left myself. This mystery is within our grip. By a few measly fungi? <laughs> this is absurd. Miko, why didn't you stab him? Hmm? Oh, I'm just a tourist. As far as I'm aware, I don't have the authority to detain anybody within Sumeru's borders. Is that not the case for you too? 
Still, you needn't worry. He won't escape. You'll see once you get back to the tournament arena. Ah, cryptic. Well, no time to figure that one out. On with the chase! By order of the General Mahamatra, we're here to arrest Elhingen for grave crimes and Kautilia for academic misconduct. The General Mahamatra has been watching Kautilia closely for some time. He's busy dealing with other affairs today, so he couldn't find the time to apprehend the offenders himself. Thankfully, with all the evidence you gathered, we were able to swiftly bring this case to a conclusion. <sighs> the General Mahamatra wrote a letter for the two of you. Please, take a look. Keeping an eye on this competition, too! He and his people must have been secretly investigating at the same time we were! All right, we'll take the suspects away now. The area will be unattended while we're gone. But... You might think this is over, but mark my words, you! Haven't seen the last of me. Oh, Master Dottore! Oh, quit while you're behind, loser! Have fun in prison, you fatui lowlife! Wait, Sino mentioned that he used our evidence, so is that where Miko was going after the last 16? To hand it in and make a report? Oh, please, spare me that look. I didn't sign up for any of this. I'm supposed to be having a nice vacation, but all sorts of vexing issues keep managing to find their way to me. After the round of 16, I simply took a walk around Sumeru City with my editors. I did have a very brief conversation with the General Mahamatra, but only because he happened to be passing by at the time. The evidence you gathered was the key to solving this case. Playing it down, the more confusing it all sounds. Um, anyway, now that the organizer and the sponsor have both been arrested, what should we do about the fungi in this tr The rules still stand. These little ones won the tournament and passed the ultimate trial, which means they'll be taking Elhingen and Kautilia's place. From now on, everything about this tournament will be up to these two to decide. And after all the experience they've gained, I'm sure they are more than up to the task. Lady Kitsune told me everything. The fungi that attacked my ancestors were out of control because they'd gone berserk. Everything I thought I knew about the fungi was based on a misunderstanding. Huh? We didn't get to say anything! Miko, why did you have to steal our thunder? <laughs> if by that you mean, thank you, Miko, then you're welcome. Hania needed a little pep talk to perk her up so that she would join us in taking a stand against Elhingen. How else was I supposed to motivate her? You don't have to say anymore. I was too close-minded. I know that now I've seen the truth with my own eyes. Even without the Wisdom Orb, Pyro One willingly followed my instruction. It trusted me all along. I hold my hands up. I was wrong. You're well within your rights to criticize me. And I accept whatever punishment you deem appropriate. Punishment? What do you take us for? Sure, you said some pretty scary things, and you were way too strict with Pyro One, but clearly you've already learned your lesson. Wait, actually, having said that, Paimon has an idea! Alright, Paimon's got it. Let's go tell everyone else what we came up with. Oh, this is 
Paimon's first time speaking so many people from a stage like this. Oh, Paimon's getting butterflies. Paimon and the Traveler are super happy that we were lucky enough to win this tournament and even expose a criminal conspiracy while we were at it. The responsibility for continuing to hold this tournament in the future now lies in our hands. Now, they may have thrown the organizer and the sponsor in jail, but you can all breathe a huge sigh of relief because the prizes are still being issued as promised! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Woo-woo! That's a good call. However, unfortunately, the wisdom orbs currently have a harmful effect on their surrounding environment, so they pose a risk to people's health. This means that we won't be able to keep our fungi friends around for the long term. So, for the sake of everyone's well-being, over the coming days, we recommend that everyone entrust their fungi into the care of the best darn beast tamer in town, Hania! But you won't be away from them for too long. While Hania takes care of your fungi, we'll be talking to the Academia with the goal of trying to resolve the current issues with the Wisdom Orb as soon as possible. And of course, this tournament was so much fun. It'd be a real shame if it was a one-off affair. Paimon's sure you've got a big appetite for more fungi fun and games. So once the technical issues are all sorted out and we're all reunited with our fungi friends, let's battle it out all over again. Oh, so that's my punishment. Think of it more as a reward for being the runner-up. Don't think of it that way, Miss Hania. Spending time with shroom buddies is actually really fun. Uh, right, Twirly Whirly? I'm gonna miss you, Twirly Whirly. Take good care of my best shroom buddy. Traveler. Paimon. <laughs> Layla. And Lady Kitsune. What can I say? You're a fascinating bunch. decision with everyone watching. You better look alive! <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I get it. As a beast tamer, I accept your proposal. I will do my utmost to care for these fungi and treat them like the treasured companions that they are to their masters. <laughs> now those sound like the words of an awesome person called Hania that Paima wants to be friends with. Anyway, let's spend some final quality time with our shroom buddies. Then we'll all meet up in Port Ormos. Definitely. With Twirly Whirly helping me carry my luggage, we could go camping really far away. And I got to see the stars from a different perspective. Uh, although, I've tried making almost everything on my food list now. Every time I used flour or something, it got in the air and gave me a coughing fit. 
But after all that, I still haven't figured out what Twirly Whirly likes. It would be great if the improved Wisdom Warp allowed us to communicate directly with the fungi. Paimon's never seen you in such good spirits, Layla. You spoke a lot more than usual just now, and you're still full of life. You really go the extra mile for your shroom buddies. Uh, uh, I think I might have overexerted myself, though. Expected. Miko, you're not leaving, are you? It feels like you never got to properly enjoy your vacation here. Oh, my needs for amusement have been more than met. Thanks to your help, our little inspiration hunt went perfectly. Not only did we gain invaluable experience in the tournament, we also had all the excitement of exposing a criminal conspiracy. Yes, I think I might ask Soka to ditch her original characters and just make you the protagonists in her next novel. True. It all makes sense now. You dropped so many hints, but it went over Paimon's head at the time. Why didn't you expose our opinion right away, though? Why wait for things to escalate like they did? Going for the big reveal right at the beginning would have been an anti-climax of the most literal kind. I wanted to see how you'd react in a situation like this, and you did not disappoint. I thought that the story between you and the fungi would follow a master-servant paradigm, but you offered something even better. Companionship, based on mutual understanding. From a certain point of view, it seems fitting that Elhingen, the one person who could barely keep the word master from his lips, met his downfall at your hand. Of course, considering what he's capable of, I'm sure he'll have his ways of continuing to put up a fight. Uh, Paimon's getting confused again. In the future, we should take notes when Miko's talking and carefully look over them later. Oh, that's enough chatting for now. I'll leave Blitzara in your hands. Remember to take good care of it. I hope you really give this a good shot, you and Hania. The future of this highly entertaining tournament depends on the decisions you make from now on. I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us. Right on time. I've collected all the other contestants' wisdom orbs and found a suitable place for our fungi friends to live. Say hello to everyone, Kindlejoy. That's Pyro One's new name. When I saw how well behaved it was when we first met, a sense of joy welled up inside me. If I just let go of my preconceived notions about fungi and allowed myself to truly feel that moment, maybe I could have felt like that all this time. I'm so glad Henny has finally worked things out. Yeah! Even though Paimon has gotten used to the name Pyro One at this point, the new name holds so much more significance. I will commit to giving these gentle creatures the highest standard of care I can provide. Please, rest assured that your fungi friends will be safe with me. I guess it's time for us to say goodbye. Go on, Twirly Whirly. Be a good fungus now and do everything that Hania says. But Zara? Miko will be back to visit when the next Beast Tamers tournament comes around. High five, Bongo Head! It was really fun having you around. Paimon hopes that you have a good time at Hania's. And is really looking forward to seeing you again next time. I hope that the day when humans and fungi can live in harmony will come quickly. I believe in you all. You'll make it happen. I look forward to the good news. 